undo this, then undo this. Once it's drained, put this back in with some thread locker on it, then put this back in with thread locker on it after filling up through here. This is ATF DEX3, so when I undo this, a whole heap of uh, reddish, brown, black, whatever stuff will come out. I've got my short extension half inch drive and I've just wedged it in there. And that is cracked. can see I have my breaker bar. Breaker bar has a huge pole attached. Maybe it's overkill. And I just have to stand on that and it should crack. The fill has been removed so I should shoot fluid out after I stand on this. Job done. Okay, three, two, one, fluid. Well, that's uh, looking quite foul, brown. Might as well wipe the um, filler port hole as well. I might just let that drip. Time for some thread locker. Just gonna pour it on there. Not too much. That'll do. Now I've done that up pretty tight. I might come back and use the torque if it'll fit. Otherwise, I think I'll just leave it about that tight. So all I have to do now is get a, uh, a pump. Pump the ATF into here until it comes out. This is just a high pressure hand water pump thing. All I did was I bought this from a um, shop, whatever you, Bunnings. Just cut the tip off. Got a knife, cut the handle off. Now this goes into the uh, the filler hole. You can stand outside and, and pump this. So I'm going to put a couple of litres, probably three litres into here, pump it all in. When it starts uh, coming out of the filler port, that's when you're done. And that's when you'll chuck some thread lock on this guy and screw it back in while the oil's flowing out. Ooh, got some stuff happening here. 